Eunice Olamidi grew up in Wester Hales, Edinburgh. She is a model and designer and has come to see the collected works of Jean Muir, a former patron of the museum and a designer once hailed as the British Chanel. The collection includes around 18,000 objects, from rough sketches to beautiful, complete garments. The first thing I've got to show you today is a really classic Jean Muir signature piece. She's really famous for the kind of little black dress, little navy dress. Wow. She's taken into account the female figure. She really did design to flatter the female form, but she wanted things to move with the body. She really um, is interested in dance, and everything for that reason has that real sense of movement. I love it when you get these pieces that just look so simple, and then when you put them and on. That's the thing about her entirely. Everything's actually very technically complex, but looks so simple. Jean Muir regarded herself as a dressmaker rather than a fashion designer. Her clothes were simple, comfortable, and effortlessly stylish. Her genius lay in her ability to work with a huge variety of fabrics, whilst moulding them all to her own recognisable style. I love the way that the skirt kind of flails out. I can almost imagine what it'd be like, you know, just walking down the street, the fabric kind of moving in the wind and so on. I think it would feel amazing to wear. Yeah. yeah. I think so too. Muir trained as a lawyer before landing a job in the stockroom of the department store Liberty. Imaginative and creative, but also disciplined and steely, she worked her way up, becoming by the 1960s one of the most respected designers in the world. The flowing, sensuous cut of her clothes won her a loyal following. Joanna Lomley was a house model for her, for example, and still as a fan of Jean Muir. They say her designs are timeless and they actually are beyond fashion. But there was more to Jean Muir than dark tones and little black dresses. The museum houses numerous pieces which embrace bright colours, but which all showcase her love of fabric and distinctive approach to form and shape. So this is a jacket this then. This is a jacket made from handmade felt. And it's, it's quite multi-coloured actually. Yeah. It's really painterly though, you know, it's almost mm -hmm. like someone's taken a brush. Oh. And that she did that a lot with her wool. Mm -hmm. And she called it painting in cashmere because uh, cashmere takes colour so well. So I suppose what that shows then is that, again, the tailoring, the craftsmanship of the piece is so integral to the work. Absolutely. Otherwise it just wouldn't sit right, would it? No, and I mean, to get wool felt, to behave as well. I mean, yeah. that's really tricky. So it's quite a tough it's fabric. Dense, yeah. <laughs> Whatever fabric she was working with, Muir was able to stay true to her principles of creating comfortable feminine clothes. And I just love this piece because she's got this drape to it, mm -hmm. as if it were a textile. Yeah. But actually, it is quite a substantial piece of you know, animal skin. Mm -hmm. And yet it's really feminine, it's flowing. But then with the change in fabric, it just becomes completely extraordinary. Different, yeah. Yeah. The museum also holds jewellery designed by Jean Muir. Together with 400 finished garments, including some of her own personal clothing, it's the most complete record of this extraordinary designer. Wow. Okay, so basically, if this entire drawer went missing, no one would notice. I would notice. 